Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we're here to do a brief, very brief, history of a company that I've only really come to truly understand lately, and that is Tecton Tools. Yeah, I gotta make sure I pronounce it right. I keep wanting to call it Tecton, but it's Tecton, as I was corrected recently. Yeah, I've heard about them for some time, and it was kind of one of these tool companies that was like, yeah, I know about them. I, I, I've seen them around. And uh, to be honest, I thought they were an Asian company, like based in Taiwan. Something about the lettering and the name of it and the fact that the first, you know, most of the tools I saw were made in Taiwan. Come to, <laughs> come to find out they're based in, was it Grand Rapids, Michigan, I think. We'll, we'll get into that in a second. And on top of it, while tr it's true that most of their tools are made in Taiwan, a good chunk, a sizable chunk, are actually made in the U.S. And they don't scream it from the hilltops. Any other company would be. In fact, there's a lot about this company that's going to surprise you. Now, I'll be honest, There, if you were expecting a history a la like Home Depot with ups and downs and all sorts of sordid pasts and stuff, you're not going to find that here. But let's jump into it real quick. This is honestly going to be less a history of a more a, let's call it a company profile, shall we? So over 50 years ago, a little company called MIT, well, actually, let's call it Michigan Industrial Tools, was founded. And they pretty much made or imported tools to sell in the U.S. And you can still find tools like these with the MIT logo on it, you know, floating around on eBay and, and whatnot. But over the years... A few things changed. Now, MIT here, Michigan Industrial Tools, not the college, is a uh, it's a family-owned company. They're not publicly traded. In fact, I'm guessing most people have never even heard of them if you're not from the uh, the Michigan area. Well, they they had a couple different brands that they were selling, and they decided to to kind of change their methodology, if you will. They wanted to start selling more premium tools and not the, the less expensive stuff. And they wanted to start selling stuff that they could be proud of. I had a chance to talk with uh, one of the managers at the uh, National Hardware Show that I attended last week. And I, I mean, I sat down and had a good long discussion with him and a lot of his crew. And I got to say, they, they impressed the bear. It's not easy. I, I may have a... Uh, kind of a, a cynical street about a mile wide if you've seen some of my my overviews on some other companies and in talking to them you could tell that there is a real passion there to produce the best tool they can at a reasonable cost they're not trying to be a budget tool company they're trying to be a top end tool company that just doesn't have to charge top end because you know they want to make how was it you know back in the day there was this whole thing about Make a good product and sell it at a reasonable price. Hmm, what a, what a concept. But, you know, being a, a bear that originally grew up in the Midwest, I can understand that kind of sensibility, you know. And, and somebody from Michigan, they're going to have that too. And that's kind of what they're going for. You know, here's their, their headquarters. Nothing big, nothing flashy, just a nice little building, nice and neat. I, I, like, I like the Chris Cut mowed lawn there, getting a little fancy with the mower, aren't we? Anyway, so that's them. You know, of course, that's summertime because in Michigan, it's not going to look like that in the winter. But anyway, so as I said, I got to take a look at their tools at the show. And I got to say, there's nothing budget looking about them. These are some of the best looking tools. In fact, I would say they're probably the best looking tools I saw in the entire show. You know, they've got several different sets and whatnot. And the sets themselves, oh my gosh. You know, I know it's probably too small to read there, but, uh, you know, we'll cover it later. But yeah, that's an a SAE and metric set and right underneath where it says it in the little red down there it does say complete series that is no skip so you got here a full 3 8 socket drive set 74 piece six-sided sockets you've got deep and standard with a breaker bar with a ratchet with extensions with everything you need in a great I mean these are great blow molded cases they really are no skip all in one. That's a one and done kind of solution right there. Now they're mostly known as being able to be purchased online. And uh, that's primarily, I think, where they do most of their business, but they do have a retail side. In fact, I found them in a local store here and they do have a store finder on their website. 
I did a whole walkthrough of the store here and showed the whole, uh, all, you know, the array of tools that they have. In fact, we'll get back and we'll go through that later in the, uh, the show here. But before that, let, let me go through basically who they are and what they do. I think you might be surprised at some of the quality and, and how much of the tools, honestly, are U.S. made. Well, as I said, they're based in Michigan. Yep, Grand Rapids right there, dedicated to making the best hand tools you'll ever own. We start by designing the product that we personally believe in and want to own ourselves. And I say that's true because if I was designing a product, like a, a wrench like we saw, I have to admit they pretty much look just like that. I'm a real simple kind of bear. I like simple lines, nice clean tools, not lots of flash and stuff all over the place. And that's kind of what they represent to me. Apparently the name Tecton comes from, I don't know if it's Latin or something, but it was explained to me by somebody else actually, that it has to do with a carpenter or artisan craftsman, somebody who's making stuff, a maker essentially, people who make and build things. So one of the first things when we start talking about a company that people ask is, where do I go if I have a problem? Because, you know, tools are investment and you want to know that the company is going to stand behind it, right? Tekton has taken an interesting approach, especially for a company that's based almost entirely, okay, not entirely, but almost entirely online. How do you warranty it? You know, a lot of people, you know, especially the professionals I've talked to, and one of the reasons they like to stick to the tool trucks is for convenience. If they have a problem, they want to be able to just deal with the guy in the truck. They don't want to have to take time out of their week to run to a store or much less find a box, load up a tool, get a shipping label, get authorization and send it back and wait for it to be sent to them. And if you're a busy person working 50 some hours a week, I can see that. I can see not wanting to have, I don't like going to shipping. I, I make the missus do that. <laughs> That's her job. She's good at that sort of thing. So how does Tecton handle it? Well, what if I told you they had a two-step process? You just go to the website, you send them a photo, then you tell them where to send the replacement. That's it. That's about as painless as it's going to get. I mean, yeah, sure, you could sit there and try and get a hold of the guy in the tool truck and hope he has the tool on the tool truck and whatnot. By the way, here's a secret for you. I just found out they're only able to send stuff, like this is Snap-on I'm talking about. They're only able to send stuff back once a month, which means if they don't have it in stock and it's the first of the month, they can't send that tool back to the end of the month. That means you could be six, seven weeks without your tool. <laughs> These guys, so like any time it happens, it breaks right there. You could be sitting right there in the shop under a car. It could break. You could pull out your phone, take a picture, upload it to the site, and have it for you in the next few days. It's hard to ask for much more than that. All right, one of the other things that they do, and this is pretty nifty, is if you order directly through their website. Now, yeah, they're they're best known for like being on Amazon and stuff like that. But if you order through their website, they have a rewards program. And it's pretty darn simple. It's 10%. If you buy anything from them, you get 10% uh, Tekton cash or whatever they want to call it. And the, the way it works is you set up an account, you spend money, you automatically get supplied to your account, and then you spend it like cash. It doesn't expire for two years. Now you can say, well, why does it expire? I, I can tell you having run companies that there's some issues with what's called liability on your records so that for bookkeeping purposes, every company has to do it. it. It's basically, it could end up putting a company out of business because their liability would get so high on tax records. It becomes an issue. Two years is pretty nice of them to carry it. If it was a company I was running, I'd probably make it, you know, one year because I don't want to have to keep carrying that from one year to the next across my tax records. But the fact of the matter is, if you buy from them direct, you're going to save 10%. And speaking of setting up an account, here's another good reason. So shipping, if you just buy something off of the website and you're not a member, you have to pay shipping. If you spend more than $50, you will get free shipping. Or you can sign up to be a member and always get free shipping. Here's the downside though. It's absolutely free to be a member. Yeah, with this company, I keep researching it. I keep waiting for there to be like a nasty downside to something. And I'm still not finding it. Seriously, though, they make great tools. They stand behind them. They let you get free shipping. What's not to like about this company? And in reality, how did I not hear more about this sooner? Well, in doing some research, I found that I think it was around 2015 
is when they really started strongly focusing on the Tecton brand. Uh, that's when they picked up the website. That's the first, and going through the history uh, of the URL, that's the first time I can really see them showing up online under the Tecton name. Uh, there's some stuff you can find, older tools and stuff, uh, but they they definitely transitioned into this new kind of concept of higher-end tools at a reasonable cost right about then. So really, they've only been doing it this way for about three to four years at this point. And I got to say, it looks like they're doing it right. In fact, let's start looking at some of these tools, shall we? Now, I'm not going to be able to cover everything they have in this video, but I just wanted to hit some of the uh, the core tools, if you will. You know, of course, they have hand drive sockets and accessories. They have some beautiful so uh, impact sockets as well. Uh, they have organization. They've got ratchets. They've got breaker bars. You know, as far as the ratchets, we got stubbies. We got quick releases, long handle quick releases, flex head quick releases, comfort grip, bent uh, bent handle, swivel heads, and such. They don't have as big a selection as some companies do, but I think they easily cover all the bases of what you're going to be looking for here. And, you know, one of the other things I like is if you go to the website, and let's say you're looking for something like, say, you know, let's look at the half inch, because that's fairly standard. If you look at this, that's a half inch drive, uh, quick release with your typical, it's a pair head design, and you're looking at $28. That puts it on par price-wise with what you're going to see at, say, like the house brands from AutoZone or Napa or O'Reilly's or even Harbor Freight. But one of the nice things here is on the website, you know, try to find some information. Go to go to Napa or works, go to Pet Boys and try to find information on their house brands. Here we got a 90 tooth with a four degree swing arm on it. And they show you exactly how that's working. So you've got a single pole design there. As, as I said, it's a four degree swing arc. They got a great little animation here showing you the size of the compact head on it, the quick release. They even demo the different handle lengths that they sell. And how about this? How about a nice exploded diagram so you can see exactly what's in the socket you're buying it before you buy it? Who, who does that? And here we get, again, more detailed specs. All right, enough about ratchets. Let's talk about sockets, the business end, if you will. Here's a half inch drive, six point socket set, 23 piece, 10 to 32 millimeter. This is coming soon. They've come out with these tray sets here. So you've got your typical uh, socket uh, strip there that you, you see you know, lots of people sell, but they've put two of them in a, in a type of case here, which makes it really nice because it's gonna set up in, in your drawer there a lot easier and let, have less tendency to fall over on its side. I really like that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this one's going to be coming out, but it says available in six weeks there. I, I hope to get my paws on it soon. I really like it. And let me get in here closer, see if I can give you a, a, a better uh, a view of what we're talking about there. There you can see the uh, the Tecton cold stamp there on the, on the chrome sockets. These have a great finish, beautifully well-made sockets. But, you know, Taiwan does put out some good tools. It's hard to argue with that. And again, like we saw with the ratchets... We come down here, we get a nice description. Oh, look at that. We got all the specs you want. Half inch drive, six point set. It uses the radius corners there, so you don't have to worry about rounding off your bolts. Pretty much everything you're gonna want in a socket like this. But let's say impacts are your thing. Well, I remember I was talking about the impacts before. Again, we have a nice, beautiful set, easy to read. There's a good look there, so you can see what these, uh, what the different sizes look like. Uh, I gotta say, the again the fit and finish on this i guess the bears a little wild you know really you know i've seen stuff this good before i've not seen stuff this good at this kind of price next up i know you're going to say let's talk about some spanners we got combination wrench sets here 30 piece uh th this is a combined set uh you've got inch you got metric you can buy them separately and that's the thing i'm showing you mostly sets here because it's easier to show more things all at once but everything I found here, you can also buy individually. As you can see, they use an angled op on the open end side, offset on the box side, keep your knuckles out of the way. They have a 12 point opening, which on a not on a non ratcheted wrench, I find that that's what I want because I want to make sure I can I'm not you know blocked out by you know limiting factors. And again, here we have full specs with complete technical diagrams on the wrench, so you know exactly what you're getting before you order it. 
Well, as I mentioned, we talked about ratchet sets. And you know the bear, if you've been around the channel for any time, you know I'm a huge fan of ratcheting wrenches. And they've got plenty of them. They've got standard, they've got double box end, they've got flex head. And here's your, an example of a nine piece uh, wrench set with the keeper there. That That's the little carrying handle kind of thing. And you're looking at a nine piece set for $55. And this was the first thing I saw when I came to the show and I walked up and I sat down and I looked at one of these sets and I looked at the lines. I looked at the imprint of the, the name on there, the, the size, the, uh, the edge lines, which on a wrench, I find the edge lines there. That's that line right there that, uh, that that's a real good indicator of the quality of manufacture because getting that straight, not having waviness to it really can tell me how much effort they put into the manufacturing process. And again, you've got a six point here with the radius corners again, so you're not rounding things off. This is a 70 tooth ratcheted gear, only needs a five degree swing arc. And then we have adjustable wrenches. I know they're not as exciting or whatnot, but they've got uh, them from four to 15 inches. Uh, They've got labelings on there in inch and metric. Now remember, if you want the inch size, you have to buy your right-handed wrench. And if you want metric, you need to buy the left-handed wrench. <laughs> anyway, the Bear Kids, the Bear Kids. Speaking of US made, let's talk screwdrivers. Uh, this is one of their larger sets, 16 piece set, $50. They come in an eight inch, a four inch, and a one and a half inch. They have a rounded handle design with a nice label right on the end. So if you're using a traditional uh, screwdriver organizer where they're slotted down in there and you can't see the end, you can just glance right across the top and see what kind of screwdriver you're dealing with. Now the handle on this, when I first saw them, I was like, that looks a little odd. I'm not sure I'm going to be down with that. And then I picked them up and I played around with them and I realized they are designed to fit naturally ergonomically into the paw. And, uh, I gotta say, I I kind of like them. They 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 really grew on me, and I'm hoping to get a chance to play around with them some more. The they talk about their tip ge geometry and whatnot, but really, you know, the 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 quality of the tip is something that you've got to use to to see whether it's really going to hold up with what you want to use it for. Of course, they've got that nice little guarantee to it. And let's let's take a moment. I'll just hold them. Pause for a second. They don't have a lifetime guarantee. They don't like that wording. They have an always guaranteed. They said, no no receipt needed. You send them a picture of it. If it's their tool, they don't care where you bought it. They don't care how you got a hold of it. We don't care if you're the first owner, the last owner, or the owner in between. We don't care. Send them a picture. They'll replace it. I've seen some, some companies that really bend over backwards. That's doing cartwheels for the customer, if you ask me. So we would talk about the handle. They, they really... I mean, Honestly, they do spend some time talking about it. You kind of have to when you see something like this because it's going to be odd for most people. Uh, but as they say here, it's comfortable comfortable torque. Engages and uses the physical structure of your hand with three-sided shapes that act like paddles to push against. And it really does because it fits up against the palm swell, the, the, the fingers of your hand, and then the, uh, the inside of your knuckles as well. And again, oh look, details, details, and more good details, including a cutaway showing you the exact shape and form of the tool. Now, one thing I know that some people are going to chime in and say, hey, 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 what about this? It does not have the typical square shaft or hex head there on the shaft where you could attach a, a wrench to it to get some good torque on it. And I asked them why they omitted that. And they said, well, in their testing, they basically found that the trend in the industry is to move towards uh, bit drivers in that situation. And, and I should say socket bit drivers. Yeah, I remember these. I have to say more and more people are moving to these. I don't know a pro yet who, uh, who's been in the business longer than a year or so who doesn't have a set of these handy and would rather just reach for that rather than grabbing a wrench to throw it on a screwdriver. But I don't know. Maybe the, the choice is yours. It's all about your workflow, right? And let's talk about pliers. They have all sorts of pliers here. This is just one of the combo sets that covers more, most of the stuff that they have. And you got everything from linemans to needle nose to bent needle nose. You've got cable cutters and snips and whatnot here. And uh, I'm looking at the quality of these. 
I, I wish I'd spent more time playing with them, but in just picking them up and looking at them, I looked at the needle nose and I looked at the linemans. And those are usually the ones. I mean, linemans are one of the more complicated ones. And if they can do that right, then generally I'm assuming they're doing everything else right. And I got to say, I was impressed, like everything else I've seen from them. They put the time in and they're producing a quality product. All right, another product I want to talk about here is they have air hose reels and hoses. Now, the reels, I, they look decent enough, but they're, they're made in China and they're, they're sourced from somebody else. These hoses here, these look some pretty good quality hoses, and they are, get this, oh, there's our diagram, made in the U.S. Again, they're sourcing more and more of their stuff from U.S. sources, and they're doing it quietly. They're not shouting, you know, from the top of their lungs, how much, look how much we sell that's made in the U.S. And I really got to say, I admire that, that they're, they're moving towards that but not crowing about it. There are some companies out there that are quietly going the other route while talking about how American they are. I think you probably know what company I'm talking about there. Another thing I want to talk about, and this one's weird, is, is they've got bungee hooks. Uh, they got a coupon here. Get, uh, get bungees for $2 each. Use the promo code bungee at checkout. That's pretty cool. I got to say, I've been testing, you know, with the towing I do with my utility trailer, you know, at least twice a year, we're making a, you know, what was it, a thousand mile trip uh, each direction approximately. And uh, bungees and tie downs are a big part of that. And these looks like some really nice quality bungees. I wonder if I can get some of these before uh, before we have to leave. I'm going to have to look into that. But again, and why are you like, why are you talking about it? Great, they're nice bungees and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, look at that. that that's a pretty nice bungee made in the U.S., and of course, pry bars. Pry bars are one of the things that, you know, we constantly see uh, tool companies that do sell stuff that's made in the U.S. selling pry bars made in the U.S. And again, Tecton's not letting us down here. Their pry bars are, of course, U.S. made as well. And pretty nice looking ones at that. Punches and chisels. All right, now everyone's got punches and chisels. And yeah, they're pretty nice looking. But I wanted to point out this one right here. Uh, for some of us who are into the hobby here, this is a nice little set to pick up. Comes with a little stand there. You've got a roll pin punch, solid center punch. Nice reverse taper. Look, if you've been doing any builds, <laughs> you know how much you need one of those. For $50 there, you can get another $5 off there. So essentially a $45 set. Hard not to like that, especially when it's made in the U.S. Now, I just want to comment, they do sell some vices. I did look at the vices. They, they seem pretty nice. They're not U.S. made. In fact, I think they, the ones I looked at were made in, well, one of them's made in China, and I know one was made in Taiwan. I'm not sure where the other two are made, but they're decent quality. And before I give you a walkthrough of one of the retail stores, I do want to give you a walkthrough of the Amazon store, because Amazon is probably the, the main place where most people are going to buy it. Uh, for the, most of you know, the bear here, I, I spend my winters in Las Vegas. This is a town with 2 million people. There is one store in this entire town where I can go and go down and walk the aisles and pick up Tecton tools. Now, luckily for me, it's just down the street, but for a lot of people, it's not. And for you, there may not be a store nearby uh, that may, or if there is, that may not even just be that convenient, but Amazon is always convenient. And with Amazon, you still get the great service and everything else. You have a problem, you take a picture, you send it to Tecton, they replace it. The other thing is, let's say you're you're like, hey, Barry, you've been telling me an interesting story. I'm thinking about trying these tools, but I'm a little hesitant. Well, that's the nice thing about Amazon. You know that no matter what, Amazon will always take your returns. They're, they're pretty amazing when it comes to that sort of thing. So you have security if you buy through Amazon. One thing, though, is if you're not buying through Tecton Store Direct, you're not going to get their their uh, money back discount there. So, you know, keep that in mind. But you are, you know, if you already have an Amazon account and everything else, it does make things a bit simpler. There's one of the Tecton uh, torque wrenches. They've been known for producing some good quality, inexpensive torque wrenches. And we got combination wrenches, socket sets, screwdrivers, torque wrenches, basically everything there that you could want to pick up. There you can see a nice little combo set, 3H drive, and with Prime, that means you're going to get two-day shipping free if you're a Prime member, and who isn't these days? All right, enough of Amazon. Let's go in store and see what these actually look like when you're there in person. So this is the Cal Ranch store here in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you hear some barking in the background, 
No, it's not my cubs. It was Adopt a Dog Day there. They had about 30 dogs up for adoption. I, uh, I was a tower of iron will and did not bring home a single one. Punches are made in USA. This hammer. This is made in China. I gotta start bringing my glasses. Feels really smooth. Impacts. Lifetime guarantee. So all the extensions have the knurling on it. Torque wrenches. This we were talking about before. Somebody was saying that they don't make heavy duty equipment. Alright, that's a two inch wrench. That's $64, $65. That's decent screwdrivers too. These made in the USA. I like that. All the products are made in the USA. Say right on it. Made in the USA. You see all the screwdrivers are. Look at the clamping stuff. This is a 10 inch for $14. There's an 11 inch for $14. These aren't sale prices. These are just the regular price. I like these. These are nice. $18. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. USA, USA, USA. That's all the tongue and grooves, the pliers. These are not still nice. Sixty bucks on clearance. All right, well, there you go. There's your brief history, more company overview of Tecton Tools. I hope you liked it. I'm sorry that I couldn't get as much of a history as I can with the other tool companies. Fact of the matter is, 
They're just a simple company that's family owned running out of Grand Rapids, Michigan that slowly evolved over time and has recently really taken a turn to trying to produce quality tools and stand behind those tools. And that pretty much, I think, sums them up. I'm hoping in the near future to have a lot more Tecton tools on here. I'm definitely going to start going that route. I know a lot of you have been requesting it. I want to see a, some pause on kind of stuff, and we're going to do that, I promise you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. That's all we got for you today. Hope you take care, and as always, shine on.